This is a follow-up to the previous video about the SM player unit and uh, quite a few asked in the comments if I could connect it to an oscilloscope so you know we could see the pulses and the sort of duration and things like that. So what I've done here is I cut off the original plug and because it operates at quite high voltage, puts out about up to 120 volts, I've put a 10k resistor across to keep that from going too high and I've uh, put an oscilloscope probe across that and um, then use an attenuator to bring that down further. So when I turn this on, we can actually see the pulses on the oscilloscope screen. So you'll notice that they start off quite low and then they increase slowly, and that's because of the um, the sort of voltage, base, very simple voltage regulation circuitry, which is just basically pumping up that capacitor inside, the storage capacitor. And the duration of these pulses is 50 microseconds, and it starts off half a second apart, and... Because it's got an H-bridge driver inside, it can change polarity. So it does a positive going pulse and then a negative going pulse that swaps the polarity on those probes. And if you press the option button at the bottom, all it does is it uh, reduces the time between those 50 microsecond pulses. They get closer together until it goes to the highest speed. And then when you press it again, it just rolls back around to the original setting. The other mode it's got, the one that is called NUM on this, I don't know what it's called in actual TENS units, um, but uh, NUM puts out the same 50 microsecond pulses but it does them in large bursts and you'll see the voltage now falling down a little, a little bit because of the increased duty cycle. And these uh, pulses are now coming out at 50 microsecond pulses at 20 millisecond intervals and then it's doing a stream of them. Now I did try counting uh, these but when I froze the display and uh, tried to get them wide enough to actually count. They were so wide that even scrolling backwards and forwards I couldn't really easily count them without losing track of where I was. So, um, not so easy. Um, the other modes it's got, let's uh, get that back to its original time setting. The other modes it's got are basically just a combination of the pulse and the streams of pulses. So if, for instance, I select auto, it will start off with a few pulses and then it will do bursts um, to just add variety. And this probably is because this is ultimately a TENS unit and it's got that setting to add variety so your body doesn't get acclimatised to the pulses and the, it, you know, the pain could then come back. Because the TENS units are designed to suppress pain. They are designed to stimulate nerves. Um, unlike the sort of muscle version um, of these units that uses the same sort of stick-on pads, but whereas the muscle unit uses fairly low frequency to cause muscular contraction, th these units just, uh, they're not aiming to cause the muscular contraction, they're just trying to stimulate the nerves by firing those pulses out, uh, and that's what's used to attenuate pain by basically swamping the area with uh, nerve stimulation that just desensitises it. And that makes it absolutely... A terrible idea for the purpose this was sold unless you're into some sort of strange pain game because um, I made the mistake in the last video of asking you guys if I should try this or not and unfortunately over 80% of you said yes so I did and it didn't last very long it was horrific um, it, it seemed to have like three levels uh, off, sore and agony it just it because it's designed to cause pain, that's exactly what it did. It wasn't pleasant at all. Uh, and while that might appeal to some people, it's basically, it's like a mini stun gun effectively. It operates in the same principle. Whereas the stun gun is designed for external application through clothing, and it uses high voltage and it fires those sharp spikes. This one is perhaps more subtle in the sense that it's got the pads that stick on and then it, you know, applies the same set of spikes, but locally at a lower level. And that's fundamentally... Its purpose is to cause nerve stimulation. So, um, I don't really know what to say about this. It's, I've some, I guess, given how widespread its sale is on eBay, I wonder how many of these are sold to people who try them out and then suddenly decide after one go that it's not that much fun after all and put it in a drawer and just forget about it. But, um, it was an interesting device to see. It was certainly interesting seeing the circuitry inside and how it has kept the cost down by using the little inductor to step the voltage up and then the H-bridge to actually control the output pulses. But um, other than that, uh, for the application that's being promoted in this instance, it's going to have a very, very small market that will appreciate it for what it actually does.